Hey everybody, David Steengamp here. Um, so now we're just gonna, oh sorry, uh, video number 31. And we're gonna be checking out the editor within the appearance section of uh, WordPress. So let's check it out. So I've clicked on editor. Um, what's really neat about the editor is that you can make all of these code changes right here. You don't have to actually, you know, open up those style.css and go into Notepad++ or whatever text editor. You can actually do a lot of them right here. And now, as of this WordPress version, I don't think they did it in one of the more recent versions, but now you can actually choose which theme to edit. So if I want to edit my child theme, which is the one that I have active, I can do so right here. But if I want to edit the 2014 or the boutique one, I can do those too. So watch what's really cool about this. So I have boutique child. That's the one that just showed up, right? So we've got our code in there and it's already pulling stuff from the boutique, the, the other one, right? Blah, blah, blah. But, and so my only option of files to edit is that style.css right here. That's it. So I love that because I always use a child theme because I always have to modify something on a website for um, th people that I make them for because um, nobody's perfectly content with um, <laughs> with a template right out of the box or a theme right out of the box. Um, so yeah, so you can just go ahead and you can just start typing in here um, if you know what you're doing anyway with CSS. So let's say I want to make all P tags, which are paragraph tags. I want to make them all uh, font size. Uh, I don't know, 25 pixels. And I can just do that, update the file, and let's see what happens. I'm really not sure which ones those will affect. Okay, I can't really tell. Let me do a, let me go to a page here. There we go, huge text, not right. So um, let me go back down to, uh, let's go like really tiny, just so I can prove to you that it's actually working six pixels. That's super tiny. I don't even know if it'll actually work. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there you go. So see, that proves that it actually works right there. So that changed all the paragraph tags. So I'm just going to delete it. Press save again. Or update file. And there you go. Um, so refresh one more time. It should go back to normal. There you go. Cool. Um, so yeah, so I, I really like this um, in terms... in, in with the idea that you don't actually have to open up the style.css file and upload it through FTP and open your FTP program and you know upload and then download and change things like you can just go right to this page and do it right here and I really like that but you know I'm kinda old school I guess so I do it um, the other way uh, using using like you know Dreamweaver or um, Notepad++ or something like that but it's a totally personal preference. So what happens is if I change to the boutique, you're going to see so many more files here on the right hand side. So I'm just going to press change to boutique or change to your uh, parent theme, I should say, and then press select. And there you go. Now there's like a whole bunch more files that you can modify. But the reason that we're doing the child theme is that uh, we want to be able so that if these files, because when, when, when a theme gets updated, a lot of these files get changed. Now, if it's a good provider, like a good theme provider, they'll tell you exactly which files are changed so you know which ones to, mo to uh, replace. But um, if it's not, then you're not really sure. Like, you're supposed to just, um, you know, replace the entire directory with the new directory. Um, so, you know, so any of these files could technically be updated. So that's why we use this, the, uh, child, the child theme uh, with the CSS uh, style sheet in it so that we can all, so that those changes that we make are always active, no matter how many times this thing gets updated. Unless it gets updated like so hard that our styles get screwed, but that very, very rarely happens. Um, okay, so let's say we wanted to edit something in, um, in this uh, theme. So one of the common things that people want to do is get rid of this down here. Designed by Elegant WordPress Themes, powered by WordPress. Oh my gosh, that is so annoying to have in there, right? So I'm just going to quickly show you how to get rid of it. So um, since it's at the bottom, um, the standard way that a website is built these days, especially with WordPress, is header. That's the first section. All right, and then the rest is, um, let me just go to the home page. 
And then the rest could be a lot of different things. It could be uh, like an index file. Um, if you're on the home page, it could be home.php. Um, it could be a, a page template, depending on what kind of page you're on. Um, it's probably going to have a sidebar in it, so that, blah, blah, blah. But mainly, the very, very top is the header.php file, and the very, very bottom, way down here, probably including this as well, is the uh, footer.php file. So what we need to do is we need to find footer. There it is, footer.php. Okay. Now, you're going to see a whole bunch of crazy, weird-looking code. Honestly, I don't even understand half of it, but I do understand a little bit enough to find the words elegant WordPress themes. Hey, hey, we don't want that. So um, I've done this so many times, I know exactly what needs to be done. So there's two ways that we can get rid of this. The one way that we, or actually there's like three ways we can get rid of this. So the one thing we can do is we can uh, get rid of, because we see you see design by, blah, 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 right? So there's design by, and then you see elegant WordPress themes, and that looks like it's a link. So it's probably got A tags around it, so it's got A href, blah, 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 blah. And then there's elegant WordPress themes, and then more stuff, and then powered by WordPress, which is a link. So here's um, powered by, and then I don't know what this is. I never know what this is, but it's there for some reason. And then the word WordPress. So this entire thing, PID equals copyright. We just need to go all the way to the end of that next p tag, which is this little guy right here. So if we just take that, we can delete it. That's one way to get rid of it, right? So I'm actually just going to, I'm just going to cut it because I want it. I want it on my clipboard so I can paste it back in later. So that's one way to do it. Just make everything nice and tight, right? And if you're not 100% sure of what you're doing copy this entire thing into like TextPad or your Notepad++ program just in case you need to revert back. Um, and obviously copy it before you take the code out. Um, all right, so let's just take it out like that and press update file. So now if I refresh, there you go, that stuff's gone. So now you look a little more professional. All right, so um, I'm gonna put it back in. I think it was right here. So paste, it doesn't matter if you're not like tabbed over or whatever, it doesn't matter at all. It just looks better if it is, but so I'm going to put it back in. And now here's another kind of neat thing that we can do. I'm going to copy all of this. Okay. So I'm going to press update file so that it comes back. All right. Now I'm going to find my style.css again in my child theme, so right here in my FTP. I'm going to download it again. Oh crap, I timed out. One sec. Okay, so WP content, themes, and then my child theme, <clears throat> and get my style.css. Or no, I don't even need my style.css. What am I talking about? Um, I actually want, sorry about this, I want my boutique theme. And now I want to actually download my uh, footer.php file. And I'll show you why in a second here. So I'm just going to download it right to my desktop. And I'm going to edit it with um, Notepad++. Uh, no. So I'm just going to delete this style thing out of here. So footer.php. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the exact same thing that we did last time. I'm going to take this and I'm going to delete it. See how much nicer all the color coding is in here? Um, okay, so I've deleted the code again. I'm going to go to File, Save. Whoa, that is huge. Okay, I'm just going to click on this save. Okay. So remember, this file that I'm editing, I pulled from the main theme directory. Okay? Or AKA the parent theme directory. So I'm going to go back up. I've saved this file right here. I'm going to go back up, and then I'm going to go back in to the boutique child theme. Now I'm going to take this footer file and I'm going to put it right in here. So I'm going to find it. There it is, footer.php. If you don't see it again, refresh F5 on your keyboard and press upload. Because this child theme, remember, it 
uh, overrides anything that's in your parent theme. So it looks for the child theme stuff first, and if it finds it, it keeps it active no matter what. No matter what's in your regular parent boutique theme or whatever the name of your theme is. All right. So now that I've activated or uh, put the footer.php in there, if I refresh this, it should go away. All right, so there we go. So now it's always going to use this file. So if my theme gets updated and the footer file gets updated, and honestly, it's probably not going to get updated in that area that we just modified, then we can do our regular update and we can, you know, uh, go into our WP content themes and let's say it's just called boutique again. We'll have a folder here, like it'll be like this called boutique. And then all we have to do is take that folder right there, right? So it's going to be in here. Hold on, F5. There it is. All we'll do, ah, all we'll do is highlight that and press, hey, move it over like that. And then we'll press overwrite all. And that's it. And then it's still saved in the boutique child theme. And we don't have to worry about doing that edit down here again. So that's another reason why child theme's great. I totally got off topic with the editor. But um, yeah, so I just wanted to show you that there's multiple ways that we can that we can mess with this thing. So now, if we go back to the boutique child, it should show that footer file in there now. There it is, right there. So now, if we need to make more more changes to the footer, boom, right here. Um, same goes for the header. The header is uh, pr pretty easy to manipulate um, if you have things like that. You know, um, the way that I learn really with this is just look for the patterns. Um, and, and just try and modify them. So, you know, just use a little bit of common sense, look for the patterns, you know, like, I don't know what the heck this means. I have no idea at all, you know, but, um, that's <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I'm not really making myself look that great, am I? But, um, yeah, that's, that's just what I wanted to show you guys for the editor is that you can choose different themes to edit right here, right now. And, uh, you know, and, and, and if, if you are concerned about your theme getting updated, then definitely do it the way I just showed you with the FTP instead and throw it in your uh, child theme directory. Um, but if you don't mind making that same change every time that you get, um, you know, every time that your, your theme gets an update, then don't even worry about making a child theme. But I, I can't stress enough that, that it pro it's going to make your life a lot easier if you just do. Put in the hard work now so that it's a lot easier later. Okay, uh, I'm going to end this video out. And uh, let's see, next one we'll go through. I don't really want to, but we'll go through the comments section. So maybe I'll put a bunch of fake comments in and uh, we'll go through that. Okay, see you in the next video.